Gotta go. Hey, guy, you're the first serious gamer I've seen all morning. Check this out. Brand new 16-bit Super Nintendo with Super Mario World. Wow! What's this one? Oh, this is a Sonic the Hedgehog from Sega Genesis. Hey, look at these radical colors, huh? Wow, Sonic's fast, too. No, over here. I like Genesis, and it costs a lot less. Wait, kid, that game I'll there. take Sonic and Genesis. <laughs> I knew that. In the early 90s, an epic battle between two 16-bit giants. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Man, where did that dramatic music come from? Anyway, so in the 1990s, there was a 16-bit battle between the Sega Genesis and the Super Nintendo. And today, we're just going to take a brief look at what I think was the clear winner of both of them. So there's nothing really wrong with the Super Nintendo, or as some people put it, the SNES. You know, Grandma and Grandpa, they really like this system, and it's a great system for the nursing home. But just like with anything, there are people out there that like Kenny G, and some people prefer Van fucking Halen. Now that's what I'm talking about. Blast processing all over the place. Come on, kids. You gotta admit that there is nothing more badass than the Sega Genesis. There is absolutely no way you're gonna tell me that the Super Nintendo outdoes the Sega Genesis because quite frankly, people, the Sega Genesis does what the Nintendo don't. But hey, I understand, maybe this is just a little too intense for your widow mind. And if that's the case, this may be for you. And in this corner, winner by TKO, the Sega Genesis! Wow, no surprise here, the Sega Genesis is the clear victor over the Super Nintendo. Alright guys, well thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, hit that like button, and if you're not already subscribed, subscribe already. And until next time, take care. <laughs>